Tony, 26,000 of these machines, this Lynx range sold globally, is that correct? That is correct. I mean, this is the third generation of, uh, of Lynx machines. Started off with a Lynx 210, then went to the Lynx 220. So yeah, that, that's over a 20 year period, but um, still impressive numbers. Uh, and another reason why Doosan, um, with the design and development of this new model, had to get it right. So it's quite evident by looking at it, it's a compact lathe, but just give our viewers an idea of the, the capacity, chuck size, etc. Well, people buy that Lynx is exactly that's right. They're looking for a small term parts machine. Um, generally, this machine comes in two model sizes. It comes with a six inch chuck or 51 mil bar capacity or an eight inch chuck with 65 mil bar capacity. OK, and the turret on this machine is a 12 station, but has it got 24 point indexing? This is a 12 station turret on the two axis version. But if you buy the M version, which is the mill drill and C axis, you've then got the option of a 24 position index turret. So you can go up in capability from a two-axis machine up to a three-axis. Can you have a sub-spindle as well? Correct. Um, long beds and sub-spindles are also available in this range as well. So, um, so yeah, quite a, quite a comprehensive range of machines. Now, if you don't have a sub-spindle, you need a tailstock. Tell me about this tailstock because it's changed from the previous generation. Well, traditionally, the Lynx basically had a manual body with a programmable quill. Um, so you position the body, bolt it into position, and then program the quill forward. Now what this machine has got is a fully programmable tailstock, which via a hydraulic cylinder and via an encoder positions the tailstock to where you want it. And it, is that, what's the advantage to that? The advantage is speed. Um, so basically, rather than have to position it and then program the quill to come out, the whole body just moves and then the advantage is it then moves out of the way then for when maybe the next part's being bar fed forward to face it, centre it, gives you loads of room. The emphasis is on speed because there's also in the brochure a lot about non-cutting time. What have Doosan done to improve that on this range of machines? Basically, what Doosan have looked at is the non-cutting time and, 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 the, and the stats state basically from the tests that they've done that we've got about a 40% saving in non-cutting time. So that's rapid rates, that's higher rapid rates, that's the acceleration, deceleration, that's the index of the turret, which is by a directly driven servo motor, um, that's by spindle ramp up, ramp down. So all of that dead time, which obviously costs you money, um, Doosan have looked at. There's all, this is also a very compact machine and I believe they've also increased the working envelope within the same footprint, is that correct? Yeah, the challenge was to not make this machine any bigger because a lot of people buy the Lynx because of how compact it is and confined working environments. So what Doosan have been able to do, because it has been redesigned from the ground up, is basically increase the maximum diameter and increase the maximum turn length on all of the range but keeping it within the same footprint. And that footprint's important, uh, as well as what you do with a swarf conveyor. I believe you can have an exit from the back and the front. Is that right? Yeah, basically what we get quite often is if a customer maybe wants to put um, a stocker system or a, a bar extractor onto the right-hand side of the machine, we've then got the problem of where does the swarf conveyor go? And it was normally then a special built machine to have a rear exit swarf conveyor. Um, but now what Doosan have done, they've incorporated it in the design of the machine tool that as standard, you can select whether you want your conveyor at the the rear or out the side of the machine. And when you buy this machine, Doosan are very uh, good at specking their machines highly. What does this come with? I notice we've got a tool setting probe there. Any more than that? Yeah, machines are, you know, they're ready to go out of the box basically and we bring them in to a high specification. So standard spec on this machine is fully programmable Renishaw um, tool setting arm, parts catcher, as we've already said, the fully programmable tail stock. Um, conversational programming, uh, easy operator package. So again, this comes ready to rock out the box. Let's, let's talk about that control because this is the Doosan fan control. What's different? Basically, what it is the latest FANUC ZOIF control. So um, one of the major differences on that is it's built on FANUC 3132i architecture. So um, effectively, what that means to speed is is that when now the data is transferred by a fibre optic link rather than a copper cable. So data transfer is a lot quicker. So response times quicker, which basically means rigid tapping axis acceleration, movements are all quicker. But the other thing is really is that Doosan then take that control and customise it to give us the conversational programming and the easy operator package that they offer. So that acceleration and deceleration is key, isn't it, when you're doing lots of moving around to make components? 
Well, exactly. This is a small term parts lathe, uh, and, and basically it's a very competitive market. Cycle times are key, so reducing those non cutting times is paramount. Preventative maintenance of machines like this, what have Doosan, or what have they improved on this model? Again, many features really is that you'll notice inside the machine now it's fully enclosed splash guards, stainless steel guards. One of the things that that does is it keeps the hot chips of the swarf away from the bed casting and, and prevents then heat generation and thermal growth, so a big thing there. Another major point on this machine tool is now we're on slideway grease lubrication which prevents the... Uh, this slideway lubrication so we don't have tramp oil, we don't need an oil skimmer on this machine tool, um, which basically gives you better coolant life and also gives you better tool life as well. It's on roller ways this machine? Yeah, roller ways. All the latest do some machines are on roller ways for extra rigidity. And we talk about preventative maintenance and this, the, the, the greasing element at the back. How, how much would that cost an engineer throughout the year? Well, basically on a two axis machine like this, um, the, the statistics tell us that you need two cartridges per annum on a single shift basis. Those cartridges are approximately £60 each, so certainly a lot cheaper than slideway lubrication oil. And how much success do Mill CNC have with this range, Tony? Lynx machines are the best selling small range lathe machines in the UK market, you know, fact. Um, so um, it's a new model, we've already sold quite a few into the market already. Many coming in for stock, we'll just see that market growing.